Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick preview of Codex, which is the new uh, AI model from OpenAI that writes code. It is was just released uh, yesterday, and I just got um, access to the beta, which I'm super excited about, and I just started dabbling with it today. Uh, I'm going to just make this one really quick because I haven't had a lot of time to dive into it, and if you saw the the uh, Twitch stream yesterday, you, you probably got a general idea of what it does, but um, let me just uh, show you here. So first of all, this is, uh, when you first get in here, there's uh, a, the Sandbox app. You can also just call this right from the playground. I was messing around with it in here. There's a, um, a, a new engine. The Actually, there's two of them. There's the uh, Codex, the DaVinci Codex, and the um, Cushman Codex engines, and uh, it's playing around with this a little bit, but let me start with uh, the JavaScript Codex sandbox. Um, so when you first get in here, there's some like brief instructions. The documentation uh, is, is also in here now, but basically this is like a preview area that will preview the output of the code. And here is an input where you provide instructions. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll see the code generated. I'm gonna just start with like one of the examples that I saw in the, uh, the documentation. So um, create, uh, let's see, no, I'll do like make a ball bounce around the screen. And if I submit that, you'll see it'll write the code over here. And then when it's done writing the code, it will, you'll see it preview in here. So you can see the code to make a ball bounce around the screen is done. And if I want to add to this, I can simply just provide um, natural language input, like make the circle bigger and see if it knows that I'm talking about the ball. Uh, well, it kind of knew. <laughs> Make it a circle. And you can do different lines here. Make it go faster. So there we go. So it made it a circle. Made it go faster. Um, make it change color every three seconds. See what that does. Yeah, so you get the general idea. I've got all the code over here. You can also um, export it to JS Fiddle from here, and yeah, tidy this up a bit. You can see the um, uh, doesn't look like it's working the same way in here. It's not bouncing around, but um, otherwise pretty functional. Let me show you a, another quick. Example. I was also uh, trying to work with calling an external API, and uh, I, I think I'm close on that. The code looks good, but there's something in it that uh, the last example that I couldn't quite get working. So there's um, open a uh, what is it? I think it's called open notify. So well, let me show you. make a button button called click me. And the button is clicked. Call the open notify. Astros API. Display a list of Astros the body. Uh, this is what I was trying to do. So the um, so it creates a button here, and then appends that to the body. I created three click me buttons. Let's see if any of them work. Not yet, but looking at the code, I think I'm very close here. I'm not sure if that's just this UI. Pretty sure that URL is right. Yeah, 
that is the API. So what I was trying to do is get it to return this API, which um, I've gotten it to return a few other um, APIs. So it can do that. So I'll play around with that a little bit more uh, real quick before I uh, finish up. The, um, there's some examples in here too that uh, kind of get you going with the, uh, the codex model, which I've been looking at. And um, yeah, here's one I was just playing with like in the, uh, in the open AI playground. And in this case, I was just, I've got like a, um, a package.json file here or the contents of it and was just seeing if I could like extract the NPM packages that it's using and it does that easily. So, and creates a table. So it's, um, I, I've only been playing with it for a couple of hours, so I'm uh, quite new to it and just kind of dabbling around to see what it can do. So I'll leave it at that for this video. If you're interested in seeing more as I dive deeper, like the video to let me know that you wanna see more and or uh, follow the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. And I will um, post more as, uh, as I get deeper into this. Thanks so much.